and welcome to a TMC Net podcast. My name is Rich Tarani. I'll be your host today, and thanks for watching. Uh, on our program today, we've got Andre Gilbert. Uh, Andre is with uh, Facilis. Andre, welcome to the show. How are you? Excellent, excellent, and thank you for uh, joining me uh, on this uh, presentation. Yeah, my pleasure. My pleasure. You guys have been uh, doing some exciting things. You know, why don't we start by saying, uh, telling us about uh, your company and just, you know, the longevity of the company. You guys have been uh, around for a while producing great products. Uh, give us an update on that. Yes, thank you. So uh, we're based on uh, the East Coast in Montreal, Canada. Uh, we've been in business since uh, the early 2000s and we uh, entered the industry as an audio conferencing service providers and uh, some years ago the uh, owners of the, the company saw an opportunity for uh, web services in order to enhance the uh, collaboration tools that voice would uh, would present and uh, so they developed the uh, mybiz software suite which is a white label meeting software that includes the four pillars of uh, the collaboration tools, which is screen sharing, video conferencing, instant messaging, and file sharing. And today we offer these uh, services to uh, leading uh, voice providers in order to allow them to enter the UCAS market and compete uh, in this uh, new uh, uh, communication world as we know it, uh, especially today with COVID-19. Yeah, it's been amazing uh, how things have uh, evolved in the technology space. We we were just talking about it before off camera, but uh, you know we didn't really talk about it specific to your company. How how have you been helping your customers and and potentially customers customers if you look at the reseller the channel as a customer? How has that evolved uh, since the advent of COVID? We're now in November as we're uh, doing this interview. It's been. Uh, from March, a lot of people have just been working at home from March until November, and I'm curious to hear uh, how it's affected your company and your customers. Yeah, the, the, the first generation of products that we provided and uh, until uh, March was uh, mostly uh, aligned with uh, screen sharing as a complement to voice. And our system was uh, developed in such a technology that it was very, very low bandwidth, uh, firewall friendly, so there was no no technical issues using it or deploying it and the uh, the uh, service was very very simple as a, a start and stop so it would include no training and minimal support so uh, our, our, our tools were really targeted at mass deployment and for uh, large organizations so we have here uh, the Quebec government and uh, part of the Canadian government that use our, our system uh, some very large organizations and the idea is that to have uh, to provide them with a low cost, highly effective uh, collaboration tool. Now, since uh, COVID and, and, uh, and uh, last March, uh, video conferencing became quite an, a more important part of the, uh, the equation uh, because of remote work. And uh, people uh, were not necessarily equipped to work remotely and by themselves. And uh, so uh, video conferencing, I think, compensated quite a lot to the uh, lack of uh, uh, personal connections with, uh, with our peers and with our customers and so on. So uh, this, this service was already available uh, on our platform, but we, we kind of uh, merged it with the uh, screen sharing. Uh, uh, again, with the same idea of having a very, very simple to use, simple to deploy, uh, simple to manage uh, system and for the end users, but also for the IT services and the uh, organizations themselves. Yeah, that's so important. Simplicity is is really the key these days, right? People just don't have time to deal with the challenges. IT is not necessarily uh, down the hall anymore. Now, now IT is, you know, potentially a phone call away and they can't necessarily see your screen very easily without uh, technology, so you really want to make things simple. That's that's great. Uh, in terms of um, the kinds of problems that your company is solving, uh, what would you say, or what are your customers telling you that um, those are? Uh, most are are linked to uh, the simplicity to deploy and use. So uh, again, we we deal with uh, large organizations and uh, deployment and uh, simplicity of usage was was uh, kind of paramount, and naturally cost. So so there are uh, great alternatives on the market, and there are great uh, uh, products that offer 
uh, we, we, we categorize ourselves in a meeting software and you've got like more like uh, collaboration software which allow uh, uh, advanced features like connecting to your uh, uh, to your calendar uh, automatic invites automatic reminders automatic recording uh, wave your hand uh, in in meeting chat and so on and and these these systems which are great which are necessary uh, play a lot on the uh, very powerful and feature filled systems which ha as a counterpart is you know the more features you have and the less uh, simple it is to deploy and, and to use so uh, but those systems are, are great for uh, lines of businesses like uh, sales and marketing and webinars uh, training centers uh, hr for uh, hiring new employees are our system really targets the rest of the employees. So everybody that needs a one-on-one -on -one or a small group or even a, a very large group, but with uh, high voice quality. So we, we linked our system easily with audio conferencing systems uh, and the uh, screen sharing where uh, you could have fantastic voice quality with uh, screen sharing and video conferencing. That's great. And uh, in terms of deployment, uh, are you seeing anything uh, globally in terms of trends, one area greater growth than others, or just different different kinds of trends across the planet? Well, we, we kind of made a, a, an in-depth analysis of the market and uh, of our customer usage and the different technologies and uh, also from uh, uh, leading sources like Garner and so on. And we came up with a white paper uh, recently that describes a little bit our view of uh, uh, communication for the future in a professional environment where you have uh, collaboration tools like uh, uh, Microsoft Teams, which currently has like over 150, 15 million dollar, uh, not dollar, I'm sorry, uh, users. And these, uh, th and this is a fantastic tool for collaboration within the organization especially for managing projects and uh, scheduling and creating groups and providing access and so on. Then you've got the line of business uh, systems, as I mentioned, that are great for webinars and uh, training and so on. And there's a need that we think that we feel very well, which is easy to deploy screen sharing, video conferencing, and even there, there was one, one key component that we, we, we think has been set aside for some time that needs to be brought back again is uh, voice quality so uh, most of uh, the systems that are out there natively they do ip voice which is in terms of if you have ban bandwidth issues or you don't have necessarily a high internet uh, access high bandwidth access or you have a, a very large group of people is eventually you want to combine uh, pbx or uh, or pbx as a service audio conferencing platform with screen sharing, which we were doing a long time ago, but now that we're doing with video feed. So our new solution that we, we, we offer in the market currently with leading voice providers is the computer or mobile video feed, professional voice systems provided by the voice carriers or the audio conferencing systems and screen sharing. And this out of the box, with a one-click option where you start three services at once and again simplifying the deployment and the usability that's fantastic now um in terms of uh enhancements and things like that are there things coming out or things that we should know about that um are new and exciting uh well i just uh, provided the scoop so <laughs> a minute in advance so this is really the one click button that would start the uh, camera from the computer, the either a soft phone, an audio conferencing service, or a mix of the two. So we do hybrid with SIP trunking and then the screen sharing and the ideas. So this system can be included like um, uh, we, we, we partner with uh, soft phone providers or VoIP uh, service uh, companies that when this initiate a call, they can now add a, a second icon on their cell phone and say professional or or, or meeting uh, upgrade, which includes uh, screen sharing and uh, the video feed, but not the voice. The idea is to keep, because there's a great voice infrastructure currently, but uh, a lot of the new players, they, they kind of want to replace that, but uh, not with the same level of quality. 
Now, um, is, does that have a name that I wanted to make sure that we focus on that? Is there a name for that? Is it one click? Is uh, well, the, uh, that, that's a good uh, that's a good point. So we should try and find and uh, and brand the uh, marketing component because because we think that it's a new way of uh, of providing meeting software into uh, a one click professional meeting, but especially with, with professional voice included. Because as we as we have a meeting, if if the image flickers a little bit, it's not so fine, but we're not li listening to, to a movie. Uh, screen sharing, it's a, the refresh rate is about one screen per second. So it's very low bandwidth and the screen is al always going to be perfect. But if we're doing, a, uh, um, if we have a business meeting and I'm skipping one word here and there, and you're not hearing properly the price of the system or some of the key components that I'm providing you within my business uh, conversation, then we're going to, to miss the a large point of the business meeting that we have. So, so, so the quality of voice is, is really, really paramount in order to uh, maintain the efficiency of those meetings. I agree. Um, seeing that I'm in my home office uh, quite often and I have a lot of meetings where the quality can be better, whether it's someone uh, cell phone or whatever it is. And um, or sometimes it's internet as well, where, uh, you know, it sounds mechanical or some kind of echo or background noise. It, it can be a challenge and it reduces the productivity, especially if you have, um, you know, let's say you have dozens of people on a conference call and one person's talking and no one can understand. You're, you're literally destroying the productivity of a large group uh, at one time. So quality is very, very important. Uh, going forward, uh, what else should we know? Or are there things we've missed? Or what, what else can you tell us as we wrap up in terms of uh, how someone watching this video, maybe how they can contact you, how they can become a customer, if they're um, to see maybe if they're the kind of uh, company that could be helped by your company? Just uh, walk us through that. So, so, so we, we, we took a few years to develop uh, this platform in the last six months to develop this new approach that I was uh, presenting. Uh, now our uh, goal and market and focus is really on deployment. Uh, so we're uh, trying to partner with leading uh, voice carriers. So it could be telecom providers, audio conferencing services, uh, VoIP uh, system makers. So these are the ones that would definitely benefit from our add-on, which is the the camera feed without voice and the screen sharing capabilities and with this be able to offer a complete UCAS uh, service to their customers. Uh, we've got good traction in North America, uh, excellent traction also in, in markets where that are more price sensitive, uh, Latin America, uh, some parts of the uh, Middle East and, the, uh, and uh, b because our solution since it's aimed at mass deployment, we can have a very, very, very small price per user in order. And since there is minimal deployment and support services, so the ongoing costs are also very, very low, which allow us and our partners to deploy at a very uh, appealing price. So uh, we invite uh, you know uh, all, all voice carriers that want to uh, enhance their offering and compete in the market. Uh, we're not competing directly with the leading collaboration tools that have, as I mentioned earlier on, their own place, but we can complement those systems and offer uh, a system that is easy to use, that is uh, very simple to, to manage, and uh, that address the needs of uh, all the employees of an organization. Great, and then when people wanna find your website, you wanna just give us the website? Yeah, so it's at www.facilisglobal.com. And uh, my name is Andre Gilbert, and it'll be a pleasure to discuss your uh, challenges and your projects uh, in the future. Great. And so like, one last thing, does a company need to be of a certain size to, to benefit from your services? Because you said the pricing is low. I mean, does that mean a, what about a medium company or, or how small a company can you be to still benefit? Uh, you, you, the, 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 the study that we did with our own clientele, uh, the, 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 the pool that uses the most, our, because what we did is we took all our audio conferencing service customers, so we had a thousand customers, and we provided this service free uh, of uh, use for a certain time and then uh, charged the ones that were using it. The one that have the biggest usage are the mid-sized organizations, 30 to 200 employees, where 
they really see the benefit of these tools uh, where every employee can use it without having to pay a per user base, uh, the, the, the most advanced system. We also can support effectively uh, very large organizations, like we've got some government uh, uh, groups here that uh, use our system. So uh, it's kind of a, a mix, but the, 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 the real organization that we're going to support most is a telecom provider that can take our service, provides it either to all their customers or to the, uh, the uh, business users or to a large group and deploy overnight to thousands of users with minimal uh, support training and uh, after sales service. That's excellent. Well, thank you so much, Andre, for being on uh, this video interview. It was fantastic and a great learning experience for all of us, I'm sure. Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Rich, for the opportunity and uh, hope to hear from the market soon.